Hey, what's going on weavers? Thank you so much for clicking on this video. And in today's tutorial, we're learning how to tie a beaded noose knot lanyard. So we'll be tying this simple, awesome lanyard onto my traditional knife. And we'll also be featuring a really sweet bead from Thai Survival. With that being said, let's get into it. So to start off, as I mentioned, we'll be tying this onto my traditional slip joint knife. This is the uh, Sod Buster by Great Eastern Cutlery. Great knife. Got my bead here. It's a really nice anodized green titanium bead from Thai Survival. And I've got my paracord. I'm using some nice high visibility orange here. So my knife will never get lost. So I've got my piece of paracord and I'm going to feed one end through the lanyard hole. And this uh, knife in particular has a nice large lanyard hole. So it's very easy to do. So I'm going to feed it through like so. And I only need to pull out about a few inches on one side. Okay. So majority of the paracord will stay on one side and you just have a short section on the other. And now I'm going to feed my bead on here. I'm going to put one end through here and the second end through next. And there's a nice large bore on this bead. So it's very easy to slip both strands of paracord through the bead. Now from here, I'm going to take my longer strand. I'm going to put a bend in it like so. And where that bend finishes or the sort of uh, elbow of that bend is going to be where the noose knot f ends or where it finishes. So I bent it back towards the bead like so. And now I'm going to pinch everything with my right finger. And with that longer cord, I'm going to start wrapping it around all three strands like so. Okay. And now try to keep these wraps as tight as possible. Okay, I'm going to be wrapping uh, kind of towards me. So there you can see it's wrapping around all three strands and now start winding that cord uh, as tightly as possible around all three strands. Okay, so the tighter you do it, the, um, the better the lanyard will look. You can always tighten it a bit later, but uh, it's better to try to get it as tight as possible right now. So as you can see, I'm making my way to the end of that loop. And now before uh, we wrap completely around that loop, we're going to stop and I'm going to make a bit of space with my um, knotter's tool here. Now you could stop earlier so that the new uh, little loop is bigger, but I just decide to go to the end here. And now I'm going to pass the end of that winding strand through that loop. And as you'll notice, I'm putting it through the loop and finishing on the same side as the other sort of tail end there. And I am kind of making it a bit harder for myself doing it this way, leaving the loop so small, but you could leave it bigger. So as you can see now, both tail ends finish in the same spot and we've got one strand longer than the other. So now at this point, you can adjust the length of the length of those two tail ends. But what I'm going to do first is um, I'm going to take a bit of the slack out of my uh, noose knot lanyard. So as you can see, you can pull on those strands to sort of adjust the tail ends, but if your noose knot is a bit loose, you can sort of uh, roll it in between your fingers and try to get all the slack out towards the end that passes through the, um, the loop there. Okay. So try to get your noose knot as tight as you need it to. And now you can adjust the length of the tails by pulling on the strands. So one strand will shorten the uh, short strand and the other side will actually tighten the noose knot lanyard. So you can just kind of play around with that. Now don't pull too tight on the short strand because it'll, you know, pull the entire strand through and your um, noose knot will come undone. So now I've got my length that I need and I'm going to clip off the excess cord. And I like to leave the tails there, of course, and I'm just going to give them a bit of a melt and just touch them up a bit. So be careful doing that part, of course, because the paracord will be hot, but just uh, melt those ends nice and cleanly. So there is our noose knot lanyard. I really love this lanyard because it's so easy to tie. You don't need a whole lot of cord for it. And as you can see, we can add a bead to it, make it a bit fancier. And um, again, it being so simple, um, you know, even if you mess it up the first couple times, you can always redo it. It doesn't take long at all. And um, you can adjust it to your liking. You can adjust the length and whatnot. I like having the noose knot lanyard on my tradi traditional knives because I tend to carry my slip joints in a simple leather uh, slip case because, you know, um, I don't want it to get scratched up and whatnot. And it does make the knife look a lot nicer. But um, yeah, having that lanyard on it makes it really easy to get a good purchase on it 
when pulling it out of the uh, leather slip. And this is a very simple leather slip case that I made myself. Just kind of getting into, you know, leather crafting on my spare time. And yeah, it works great as a um, sort of retrieval method for that. And also, if you're one of those people that has um, a really cool um, leather EDC organizer, uh, like one I've got here, this is another simple leather project I made. Um, yeah, it's really great for, again, taking your tools in and out of that um, EDC organizer, right? So I see, as you can see, I've got a noose knot lanyard on my flashlight there, as well as the traditional knife. Okay, so that is it, guys. That is the beaded noose knot lanyard. You can see my other uh, lanyard is tied into my flashlight. It's got a nice Schmuckatelli bead on it. And uh, yeah, a huge thank you to uh, Thai Survival for sending me uh, a few of these beads to check out. And I've got a couple extra beads um, ready for a giveaway. So keep an eye out for that. I've been meaning to do a giveaway for a while now. And as always, a huge thank you to all my Patreon supporters. If you guys aren't aware, I do run a Patreon page and I make exclusive videos each and every month uh, for this channel. And for the super low price of three bucks a month, you guys can get access to those tutorials as well. Huge thank you to all my current supporters and thank you for even considering. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to check out what I have to offer on the rest of my channel.